Hey guys, the girl Jalicia, and I'm back with another video. Yes. Now today is gonna be all about this braid out, honey. Yes, yes. And since I want to show off this braid out, I decide to go ahead and show you guys finally the beads and sprinkles that's in my hair currently. I've gotten tons of questions asked about it, and you know I am hashtag hippie locks okay so once you know that then you know I got lots of things going on so if you're interested to know what beads I'm currently wearing and where I got them from then stay tuned boo stay tuned now before we begin as you can see we're hashtag glasses so go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know you don't mind okay before we go any further I want to go ahead and discuss this lift Okay, because I know someone's going to want to know. Y'all know I love chocolate lipstick. So this base is Broomstick by Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. My most perfect, favorite chocolate brown. I have three backups of this. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. And on top of that is the Fenty, I believe it's Unveiled. The brown, the nudie brown. New favorite winter combo. Yes, God. Okay? Now watch the video. Now let me go ahead and start by showing you guys this braid out. Since I've gotten my cut, this is the first time I've actually done a braid out on my hair. And fun fact, first time I've retwisted it. Yes, yes, I actually did a retwist. So I want to go ahead and show you guys. And I know the last time you saw my hair, because of the short videos, it seems like you just saw the cut. But my hair has grown out so much. So here you go. I really hope you guys can see it. I didn't put anything in it, so I apologize if it looks a tad bit dusty. See the other side. All right, and you saw all those beads and sprinkles in there, so let's start talking about it, okay? And I'm gonna have to break this down in sections before everything starts jumbling together. Lego. Now, before I get to showing, I just wanna let you know right now, this is in fact a mini commercial for Unruly Jewelry. I'm letting you know in advance. You see the website and definitely click the description box to get a direct link to go over there and purchase because that's where all the beads that are currently in my hair are from. So let's start with this section right here. See if you can see. Okay, good. Now in this section, this is a lock sprinkle that I need to fix. This bead right here, y'all know anything Rasta, Ice Gold and Green, I live for it. So most of that's the color scheme. I got this from Unruly Jewelry. And this is a lock sprinkle that I also need to fix. That looks horrible, but anywho. All right, so that's all that I have in the front. I don't like to put lock jewelry or big sprinkles in the front because I find that it flops down. And the most annoying thing is to have something continuously flying in your face. So I used to have a long sprinkle. If you guys have been watching my videos, you remember that? I had to take that out, honey. No, ma'am, no ham. So let's move on to the back. All right, now, Lord, I could just imagine what back there look like. But we're looking at the beads, not the beady beads. Okay? All right, now, let's see. This is also a lock sprinkle. And if you're wondering, I'm using a mirror so I can see what you're seeing. That's a lock sprinkle, okay. This bead is a bead from Unruly Jewelry. As you see, it has a little sparkle in it. I hope you can see. And this bead also is a bead from Unruly Jewelry. And as you can see, it's extremely light. That's the reason why I love her jewelry. Now this right here, I'm hoping that you can see it. If not, it is a glass bead. Now this glass bead is also from Unruly Jewelry back when she was selling glass blown beads under her YouTube name, which is Barbadian261. Hey girl, you know I live for you. So she had made me a custom made Hello Kitty. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. And when I tell you I've had this Hello Kitty for what? six years now that's how long I've had it and I live for it so I will never get it out and this is the placement that it was in when I first put it in and I made sure to cut my hair under it yes I did yes I did because Hello Kitty is never leaving all right so that's what that is right there 
This right here is a lock sprinkle. That's all we have for that section. Now, if you're new to my channel and you don't know what a lock sprinkle is, girl, okay, click the link or the card right here because we've been doing sprinkles for years, haven't we girls? And this side, this is a lock sprinkle. It's like a gunmetal color. Let's see what else is over here. I don't think I have a lot over here because I have new beads. Oh yes, that's more to put in. So I think over here is where I'm gonna put in at, but I believe I have a little silver. This is just a little random silver ring. You know how you go to the beauty supply and they have all those lock beads and jewelry? I got one, it was glittery. I took the glittery part off and I just never took this one out. It's not bothering me, but it's not really a lock jewelry. So yeah, I believe that's it for the back. Tell me if you see something I didn't tell you. Yeah. So those are all the beads that I currently have in my hair. Because they're sporadically placed and because of the sprinkles, I know it looks like so much more. But yeah, that's what I'm currently wearing. Now let's get to the ones that I'm not wearing, okay? The new ones that I haven't put in yet. So you thought you was going to watch this video and not subscribe? Huh? Huh? You did? You did? You did? No, you didn't. You're clearly watching the videos. So if you see this hoe, bang this hoe. Two times if you can. All right, watch the video. Okay, I'm gone. Now, like I said, I've been buying lock jewelry from Barbadian 261, which is now called Unruly Jewelry. That's why I keep saying both for years. Ray has like three beads in his hair. He has the glass beads and a clay one. And these new beads that you see right here are the clay beads, so they're extremely light. The issues that I have with lock beads, and I've tried a lot of them, I've had some silver crowns and a silver Africa. If you're on my Instagram and you've been following my hair for the last, what year, you probably saw that. But honey, when I washed my hair, they turn, and she will not be having bilver, okay? Bronze and rusty silver, rilver in my hair absolutely not so if you have that jewelry in your hair and you see it brown and you see it rusting please remove it because it will rust your lock okay that's just a tip and I couldn't have that secondly don't be selling lock jewelry that's gonna turn like what I cannot be bothered taking jewelry out to wash dye and all that stuff I'm not doing that okay no so when I tell you this Hello Kitty has been dyed washed it's been in there for six years, girl. Think about how much times they wash. Like, and it's never been stained, anything like that. And these clay ones that I'm currently wearing, they are the same. They, they don't dye. Now, don't saturate it with dye, okay? Don't be crazy. I do try not to get it on there. But I have no problems with shampooing. I have no problems with dyeing. I have no problems with retwisting them in. That's why I love her beads so much. Also, I told you guys that I had two crystal lock gems i think i had showed it to you that time in the haircut video but i had to take those out honey they were way too heavy for my head and i just i couldn't so i took those out and i have like a little ziplock full of beads because i always buy beads from her she always sends me extra beads she's now making earrings and she sent earrings for a beautiful giveaway that i just had on my instagram channel if you know what i'm talking about yeah she definitely did that um and girl, don't kill me. But why she sent me a personal pair of earrings? Because she makes beautiful clear earrings. And why I believe I put it in the giveaway box? <laughs> yes. Don't kill me. But that's fine. They deserved it. It's great for them. I can definitely buy me a pair. But I was looking high and low. Because she was going to wear it today. But I definitely have more earrings. Oh yes, because like I said, I shops with her. Okay? And you should too. Alright, so speaking of earrings, let me go ahead and show you guys the earrings that I have from her. And she special made these black matte africa for me girl i love you so much you always look out and as y'all know anything rasta colored anything ice gold and green i want it send it to me okay so i ordered these and they are studs i love them so much i've worn the black ones like three times already i haven't worn these yet but bitch when i do it's over okay it's over so she makes these she makes the hanging kind she has an assortment of colors please click the website okay what are we talking about all right now let me show you this is a little ziplock of the new beads that I came in and one extra bead that can't fit my hair but I'm not gonna give away so I'm holding on to it like what am I gonna do 
And because of my camera and it doesn't automatic zoom, I'm just going to show you guys a close up of the beads in a picture form. But I want to at least attempt to show you guys in the video. You know what I mean? It, it, it's rude. My camera is rude. And yes, it is a Canon. But honey, she don't have no respect for me. So these are the beads. These are one, two, three, four, five beads that I have yet to put in. I saved these just to show you guys because I'm going to put them in my hair. Facts. Big facts. Gigantic facts. Now again, if you don't know that she's been selling beads for years and I don't know where you've been, you definitely want to subscribe to her YouTube channel. You'll get to see all the beads that are no longer available. Honey, we had a great run. And now that she's doing these clay beads, Oh, the foolishness has just begun, honey, and I can't wait. So I definitely placed an order soon, and I wanted to show you guys what I was currently wearing in my hair and definitely tell you guys how much I love it because a lot of you guys aren't on my Instagram and Snapchat where I rant and show you guys new things and products that I get for my hair, and I love a good lock jewelry. I also got the crowns and the Africas on Etsy if you're still interested to go over there and check it out. Etsy is where I get my waist beads. I'll be showing you that in an upcoming haul video that I have. But yeah, I definitely wanted to go ahead and tell you that. And Miani girl, you know I love you like cooked food. Okay? I love you down boots. So just look forward for my new order. Okay? And I hope y'all don't go ordering up all of the Rasta stuff. Make sure you say some for me. Because she has an assortment of colors, not just Rasta. I just, I'm always like, great, can you make that in a Rasta? Hey, good, can you make that in a Rasta? Hey, girl, can you make that in a Rasta? All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you in the next video. Peace out.